Hi, and welcome to our channel where we do Bible and art lessons to help you forget not the Lord. For this video, we will be melting crayons, but we're going to keep the style a little more abstract or simple in technique. Okay, we're just going to make flowers a lot easier. So you're going to grab a crayon and just make circles. So we're going to just practice a couple little flowers that we're going to make. So if you have a crayon and a piece of paper, we're just going to make swirly circle flowers. And we're going to call this a rose. Next, and you can even add another color inside that rose later if you want to. Next, you can make a flower with just circles. So you'll make a circle and then you'll add circles all the way the, around, all around the outside of that circle. Now we can do the same thing with a pointed petal. Now if you're feeling extra artistic today, you can add an alternating petal. So you'll just go in between each petal or behind each petal and add another petal. So it looks like they're layered. You can add other colors if you want to, rather than just one color. You're gonna see throughout this video, I never use just one color on a flower or a leaf or anything. Next, we need a flower vase or a flower pot shape to hold our flowers. So we're gonna make a container of some kind. That can be all sorts of shape, sizes, styles, you just need something to put your flowers in. Or you might just want to do flowers all over your paper without a vase. And side note, also pay attention to where that hair dryer is blowing heat. Um, I didn't, and as you can see, I melted crayons together. I'm just going to lightly draw a vase without using the hair dryer for heat right now to melt it. I'm just gonna put that on my canvas paper first so that I can allow for space for my flowers. If I don't do that, I might not leave enough room for a vase or I might not have enough room for my flowers. So I'm just gonna determine how tall my vase is gonna be and that will tell me how many flowers I can make. Now I'm gonna start with the swirly roses just like I showed you. I dropped my crayon right about now I'm realizing that this was not a cheap crayon it was a Crayola crayon and the cheaper the crayon the more wax that will be melted and less pigment but Crayola does crayons the right way and they use a lot of pigment which means I'm not gonna be able to get that mess up off that paper and it's going to be hard to cover it. So I'm going to leave it alone for just a few minutes. Think about it. And I'm going to come back to it when I have a better idea. I'm bummed. I'm just going to move on. I will, um, I think what I'll do is I will try a yellow crayon on top of that red just to see if I can dilute it, maybe move it a little bit and, well, nope, that's not going to work either. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'll keep thinking. I'm going to come back again. Let's make some of those circle flowers. I'm going to heat up an area for a couple of seconds with that hair dryer and then my crayon is going to just melt and run smoothly across that canvas. 
It really does not take long. Just a few seconds, maybe three, four seconds is all you're going to need. God didn't use just one color when he was creating this creation, and you don't have to either. And nope, the yellow is not going to move that red. It's just not going to work. All right, well, we tried. I'm still thinking. Let's make some more flowers. I'll come back to it in a minute. Okay, I have decided. If you can't beat them, join them. I'll just add that red mark to all the flower petals on that yellow flower. And I'm just going to make it look like I did that on purpose. And you can do that too if you make a mistake. You know what? I like it. I'm going to do it again. Now let's make some leaves and greenery. And again, I'm going to use several colors of green on each leaf. Don't use just one color. I think I'm gonna make my vase a light teal color. Now, watch closely because I'm gonna leave a space where I'm not gonna color any any of the crayon or melt any of the crayon because it's gonna create a reflection on that vase. One thing I learned doing this is that the white crayon is not very heavy pigmented in color. And that's like when you color with a white crayon, it doesn't really show up on your paper. Well, it doesn't when you melt it either. So, anything you want white, don't color it. You know by now I'll not use just one color. And I'm just gonna keep tweaking and keep adding color and filling in some spaces and you can do the same on yours and I'll be right back. If you find an area on your paper like I did where the color has blown into a spot or an area that you didn't want it, in other words, I wasn't paying attention to where the hairdryer was blowing and it blew some color across my paper. If that happens to you, you can either make something out of it, put another leaf, add another flower, or in my case, I'm going to add like a little table background area. If you want to, you could color the whole background. You could color it one color. No, you couldn't. Don't use one color. Use several colors. Or you could do a pattern. You could do shapes. You could do it in the style of Matisse if you wanted to. Now you can stop here. Just like this. Boom, you're done. Or you can outline your flowers with like a black crayon. It'll just be a different style of art when we're done. And yes, I made a mistake. That black crayon was a whole lot slicker than I thought it was going to be. It melted a lot faster than the other colors did. I think it's because it was a metallic. So I am going to need to be very creative to fix that. There are no mistakes in art, just creative fixes. 
Um, I'm probably just going to melt some more crayon on top of it. Let's heat up that area and I'm going to add more color. Isn't it fun how melting the crayons allow more of that pigment in the crayon to show up? Because when you color with a crayon, you're only going to get a certain amount of pigment distributed on your coloring page or your coloring book. But when you melt that crayon, you're getting more concentrated amounts of the wax and the pigment. So it makes the colors more vibrant. And it actually looks like a paint effect, doesn't it? We hope that you have enjoyed this quick melted crayon artwork. Please hit subscribe and like if you've enjoyed this video. Join us for more Bible art lessons and show us your artwork. Contact us, email us. We love hearing from you guys. Comment below and let's stay in touch.